And meanwhile, here in Denver, Rockies Pride Night is back. They take on the Oakland A's at 6.40 p.m. tonight. It is the first Pride Night on the 2021 Major League Baseball calendar. And when you buy tickets on Rockies.com slash Pride, a portion of each ticket is donated to One Colorado and the Center on Colfax. Joe Foster, VP of Development and Communication with the Center on Colfax, joins us this morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So Coors Field has been home to many Pride games before, but for those who maybe haven't gone to one of these games, what can they expect tonight? They can just expect a lot of people just celebrating Pride and being themselves. And I think that's something that we all try to take away from the month of June is just to be our individual selves and bring our whole selves to the game. You can expect a lot of fun. We do have a, a very famous drag queen from the Denver area joining us tonight to celebrate. And I think you're just going to see a lot of love in the air today at Coors Field. And, you know, talk about the importance of getting the community involved in events like this. It's important to, you know, just show each LGBTQ person that they have an ally in uh, the, the movement. And I think it's really important for major league sports teams like the Rockies to uh, show that they have our back. So I, th I think in the end, it really is going to show a lot of people um, in my community uh, that they can be themselves wherever they go, um, not just throughout June, but throughout the rest of the year. Absolutely. The Denver Pride Parade pre-COVID typically attracts more than 300,000 people. It is so fun. Celebrations all month long. How can people get involved, whether they're part of the LGBTQ plus community or just an ally? So uh, this year, Pride will look a little different from last year, as in it won't be all virtual. Uh, but this year, we will have both in-person and virtual components. And the one big virtual component is the Coors Light Virtual Denver Pride Parade. Uh, a lot of uh, sponsors and uh, organizations and corporations will join us as uh, actually our friends, uh, you guys at Denver 7, will help broadcast it throughout the weekend. Uh, so that's one way we can, you can get involved throughout the weekend is to watch the parade. And uh, we can also, um, we'll have what we're calling Pride Hubs to um, really make sure that people feel safe with social distancing. So we won't be in Civic Center Park, but we will be throughout Denver at different locations, either at the Jewish Community Center here at the Center on Colfax, Hamburger Mary's, Sea Film Center, and uh, other LGBTQ-owned businesses as well. I've got a feeling this time around, it's, the partying is going to be more elevated. Oh. Since we're, uh, getting, yeah. you know, we're getting back to normal a little bit, you know? No, I, I agree with you. I think we're going to be a little closer to normal with the party, but uh, we have to remember, it's not just about a party. It really is a celebration about the uh, victories we've had in our community, but also just to remind people that we're here, we're not going anywhere, and that we still have a lot of work to do uh, for full equality for all LGBTQ Coloradans. Absolutely. You make a great point there. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. To support One Colorado and the Center on Colfax, purchase tickets for tonight's game on Rockies.com slash pride.